everyone, I'm Keith at Two Big Woodworks and today we got a special project I'm super excited about. We're going to be putting together this saw stop. Let's get to it. The first step in the assembly process is to thoroughly unpack everything and verify that you have all the parts in your manual. The saw stop model that I have is PCS31230, which is a 10 inch professional cabinet saw. If you have a different model, then you may have different parts and or options seen in this video. Once everything is unpacked, you'll want to take that large styrofoam piece from the top and place it next to the saw so that you can roll the saw onto the styrofoam. If you have the professional cabinet saw mobile base, you'll want to install it now before you lift the saw to its upright position. I have the industrial mobile base, so I positioned it so that I could easily lift the saw upright. Then once it's roughly in place, you can lift and adjust the saw so that it fits correctly on the mobile base. Before moving forward to the next step, make sure that you thoroughly clean off the tabletop with a soft, clean cloth. The next step is to install the elevation hand wheel. Locate the metal key and insert it onto the elevation control shaft. Then slide the hand wheel onto the shaft until the front is flush with the end of the shaft. Tighten down the set screw and screw on the locking knob. Repeat this process to install the tilt hand wheel and locking knob. Move around to the back of the saw and secure the dust port flange to the saw using the included hardware. Next, we will install the motor cover. Take the motor cover rod and run it up through the bottom towards the top once inserted all the way, rotate the rod so that the bent part hooks into the cover. Then gently tap the rod. Mounting the extension wings is up next. Make sure to thoroughly clean off the wings with a soft, clean cloth. Hand tighten the bolts at first, then use a straight edge to level the extension wing with a cast iron tabletop. Once aligned, tighten up the four bolts. Repeat the process for the right side of the table. Mount the switch box under the left extension wing and tighten the screws with a 4mm hex key. While you're down there, you can always attach the accessory holders on both sides of the saw. On the left is the holder for the blade wrenches and push stick. On the right is the holder for the riving knife, miter gauge, and blade guard. I did not record installing the front and rear rails of the fence system. It was only a few bolts. To finish installing the rails, you will use the longer bolts, which will allow you to move the wings up or down slightly to get the wings parallel to the table. Once aligned, tighten all the bolts in the rails. With the rails securely in place, you can now attach the extension table. Using the included hardware, hand tighten the bolts through the extension table and rails.
Then you can install the two support legs and then align the extension table to the extension wing and tighten everything down. The next step requires some careful planning and coordination, neither of which I took into account. The manual says that the powder coated surface of the tube and rail can be slick, so be careful that the tube does not fall off the rail. Mine fell. The only damage done was that to my ego. On to the next step. Attach the fence handle to the fence and adjust the clamping force to achieve a moderate amount of force to hold the fence in place. Move the fence to the left edge of the tube and adjust the tube so that there is 1 16th gap between the front rail and the glide pads of the fence. Do the same on the right end of the tube and then tighten all the bolts down to hold the tube securely in place. Install the blade, blade guard, limit rod, and throat plate insert and you're ready to start on the fine tune adjustments. Each saw is different when it comes to alignment, so please refer to your manual. I'll be making a new outfeed table, but in the meantime I needed to trim away some of the old outfeed table to make room for the saw stop. I give the mobile base a few pumps with my foot and easily slide it into its new home. There you have it, one three horsepower saw stop professional cabinet saw assembled and ready to go. Well, that's it. This thing is going to be a game changer. Um, took me a little bit to put together. I've never put together a table saw like this. Um, the instructions were absolutely perfect. Very easy to follow. Didn't really have any questions on it. Um, it's perfect. Love it. Now, if you like this video, please click the like button below. Leave me a comment. And if you're new here or not yet subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button below. Click the little bell notification, and that'll let you know when we put out a new video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Come back soon, and take care.